let's have a look at the Mocha Tracker available within Silhouette. Now setting up the Mocha Tracker is very similar to how we set up the other trackers as well, especially the Planes Tracker. We have our layer that we're going to take and I will call this one Box Side. And we make a shape. And let's make a shape on, well, the side of the box. That makes a good bit of sense there. Cool, and let's come into our motion tracking and over to the Mocha Tracker. Now, unlike Silhouette's Planar Tracker, the Mocha Tracker isn't looking for points, it's looking for texture. So by drawing the shape, we're defining the plane that it's going to be tracking, the texture that it's going to be tracking as well. And in terms of controls, we can choose whether it's only doing the translations or whether it's only going to be tracking left and right or up and down. In this case, that wouldn't really be too helpful. We can also add in scale and rotation here, but I think we need a little bit more. We can track in shear, which also adds in the shearing distortion that you get as things rotate in the X and Y planes. This is also useful for objects that start to stretch out a little bit. So maybe something like uh, someone walking down the street wearing a t-shirt, shear is perfect for that. But we're tracking something like a license plate or actually the side of this box here, and it's moving in perspective, then we can add the perspective tracking in here as well. She will often get the same sort of results as perspective. Perspective takes a little bit more time to render, but it's adding an extra constraint to the track, which can lead to better results. And let's just track that forwards. Now, what we've got with the horizontal and vertical percentages here is where it's going to be looking for this particular shape within the box. How far is it going to move to try and find it? We can leave this set to auto. And the same with angle and zoom, what we can do is we can add in a specific angle or a specific zoom. If the object is twisting or zooming, we can say how much it's twisting or zooming in a percentage from frame to frame, and that can help us to get a better result as well. This is also keyframable. Though probably the most important one is the minimum percentage of pixels used. By default, this is set to auto as well. So it's taking the percentage of pixels used from the size of the shape in relationship to the size of the frame as a whole. If we turn that off, we can then define a percentage used if we're not getting the results that we want out of it. The biggest mistake you can make is actually having this set too high rather than having this set too low because it might try to find more pixels than are actually available. So we take a little look back at this now and turn the overlays off. You can see that this is tracked in really nicely. And in the same way that we could track in stuff that was coplanar, if I track in something like the fireplace, and let's come to our motion tracker, keep everything here set to default again, and just track that forwards. One other thing with the Mocha Tracker is that the data we get from the Mocha Tracker stays in Silhouette. We cannot export this data out anywhere else. With the other tracking data, we can export that out to other applications or share it around. With the Mocha Tracker, the data stays within this application only. However, of course, you can export the shapes themselves that you create and track with the Mocha Tracker. Those can be exported and will take that tracking data over. But the raw tracking data stays within Silhouette. Cool, so now we've got our rear wall tracked in. I can keep our fireplace tracked and also have other coplanar objects sitting within that same layer. So for example, this giant letter R, not perfect, but good enough for jazz. Let's turn the overlays off on that one more time and just play that through without doing anything else to it. See, because that's coplanar, that's also sitting in perfectly on the same layer. And that's how we use the Mocha Tracker within Silhouette.